In this Pixplant walkthrough, we'll be seeing how to transform a photo into seamlessly tiled 3D maps. I have to apologize because, uh, unfortunately, some of the interaction you'll be seeing in this video is not very smooth due to the screen recording software. Um, you'll find that if you run Pixplant, uh, you'll see the 3D rendering is uh, much faster than in this walkthrough. Sorry about that. So the Pixplant user interface is divided in two main areas the 3D maps area and the texture area. The 3D maps uh, area uh, allows um, 3D maps to be edited. Uh, they, they can be opened either from standalone files or they can be extracted from photos, which is um, what we'll be seeing on this uh, walkthrough. Um, so let's start by um, generating a seamlessly tiling uh, texture from a photo. And we'll be using a photo from Ben Cloward uh, at bencloward.com. Uh, it's a brick uh, a wall of bricks, a brick wall. And um, so let's just hit generate and see if Pixplant got the analysis, the initial analysis correct and uh, is able to uh, on its own generate um, a tiling texture. So uh, Pixplant is now asking the size, uh, 1024 by 1024, and Pixplant is now gen has now generated uh, seamlessly um, tiling texture. You can see that uh, it tiles seamlessly. Uh, we can also see it in full screen, and you can see that it tiles without problems. Okay, so let's now let's now send it to um, 3D Maps. We, we click the send to 3d maps button at the top uh, and click the send button now okay we're now seeing the extract windows uh, we'll, we'll be seeing uh, three extract windows this is the first um, and uh, the purpose of these windows is to uh, ask for um, an initial um, map um, so uh, it is asking um, for uh, settings uh, that can extract an initial map, uh, all this can later be changed. Um, this this is only really the initial uh, map. In this case, displacement map. The important um, setting here is a surface scale setting, which uh, allows us to tune the um, the level of um, the the size of the. Um, of the elements in the surface we're interested upon. So uh, further to the left uh, means larger scales, and more to the to the right means uh, smaller scales and more fine uh, fine detail. So let's just select a reasonable value. Okay, let's use this one. And the next window is the uh, specular uh, extract window. So. Um, here we can specify if the the surface will uh, have its uh, specular component um, uh, with more or less shininess. Um, since it's um, a brick wall uh, and they are usually not very uh, very shiny, uh, we can use the matte uh, setting. So uh, I'll be, I'll now hit OK. And uh, we're now seeing the um, ambient occlusion uh, rendering uh, window. So this uh, will give us the initial ambient occlusion and it's rendered from the displacement that uh, we've just extracted. Um, okay, so we'll just leave it at, the, at, uh, at this. We can later on um, handle uh, it more properly. So I'll hit OK. So, uh, we're now at the 3D uh, maps area. To the left is a 3D preview. Uh, we can switch uh, on or off uh, different maps, for instance, switching off diffuse, switching off ambient occlusion. Um, we can change the model. In this case, it's uh, the cylinder, but we can uh, change to, uh, for instance, a plane or um, a ball. Uh, Pixplant includes uh, four custom, uh, four um, built-in models, and these models are rendered with uh, displacement uh, vertexes. 
you can also load your own uh, wavefront uh, .obg um, models, format models, and um, they they can be uh, previewed here. Um, I'll now switch back to plane, which is more suitable to what we're going to do. Um, we could also change the uh, UV scale here. This is all more or less straightforward. Okay, so um, let's let's now see the displacement map editor. This editor, uh, like the other editors, uh, includes two types of tools: whole image tools, which are uh, usually the left side uh, tab, and uh, uh, pixel level tools. The surface tools, in this case, the whole image uh, tools. Uh, which for displacement, th this means they are surface tools, uh, will edit uh, the entire uh, image or surface at the same time. For instance, I could make it smoother by moving the equalization preset slider. You can see that the, um, the surface is, is much smoother. Or I could make it sharper and uh, more details, more um, fine details are added this way. Um, Another editor is the normal editor. Both the displacement and the normal editors are um, are connected in the sense that they are editing uh, as uh, a common surface, a single surface. Um, in a in a certain way, um, both displacement and normal are two uh, views, two two different views over the same surface, where displacement will show the height of each point, each pixel and normal will, will show the direction of the surface in that point. Um, so any, any change that we do here will also re reflect on the, on the normal tab, for instance. Let's, for instance, um, paint something on the, um, on the displacement. So, for instance, if I do this, you can see it uh, changing here. And if we go to normal, you can see that uh, the normal is also changed. Um, we'll just undo this. Okay. So let's see another editor, the diffuse editor. Again, uh, we can find two types of tools, all image tools and uh, pixel level tools or paint tools. Um, for instance, I could uh, neutralize the shading here and uh, by using the neutralize slider, you can see that the, um, some of the shading is going away. Okay. Or we could, for instance, um, use the clone tool to fix some uh, problem here. For instance, suppose we'd like to, to remove this uh, mark in a brick. So we could just clone from uh, uh, here and paint here and there goes the, the mark and um, now for another uh, editor the, the specular editor um, again the specular editor also includes two types of tools all image tools and pixel level tools paint tools uh, um, say for instance Suppose we'd like to, to paint uh, an exaggerated, in this case, um, shinier. And you can see that uh, it um, becomes more um, uh, reflective in the 3D uh, preview. Okay. Um, the ambient occlusion. Now, you can see that uh, it's not very um, it's not very good. Uh, we can, for instance, make it smoother. Let's see with and without. Okay, perhaps a bit darker. And another thing we could do is to would be to uh, again render from the current displacement map. Um, as as we did in the um, a while ago, 
Okay. Um, so um, so we've we've seen how to how to create um, a seamlessly tiling 3D map from a, a photo. Thanks for watching. The Pixplant demo can be downloaded at uh, pixplant.com.